Hi people, I'm just here to show you how to get into an Acer Z5801 multimedia PC. Um, I'm making this video um, simply because I watched a couple of YouTube videos which showed you incorrectly i found two of them which showed you incorrectly how to get into this machine um and they were both along the same vein that you took a very flat um, piece of metal and going down the very edge of the panel you literally forced it in one video even shows a ha hammer being used um, to smash all the clips that hold it in place um, this is totally the incorrect way of getting into this machine um, being a computer you've got to be able to get into it to repair replace hard drives um, memory motherboard repairs fan cleaning uh, there's a whole host of reasons you, you need to get into a PC. So smashing clips isn't a viable option. Um, after pondering, that cannot be the correct way of getting into this machine. Um, I actually figured it out myself. Um, so I'd just like to share that with you now. Okay, so... <laughs> this machine's already been pulled apart. Uh, you can see the stands over there. Um, I'm literally about to put it all back together. So before I do, I thought I'd show you how to get into it. Right. From where all the ports are, if you literally just get this piece of plastic, you'll find that the two bottom ends will just prise apart and if you pull down, that will just come away. You can see a couple of clips there, holding it all in place. Okay, so put it out towards you, up, in, up, a right manner. That gets the, the bottom sections up, and then down to get it off. Okay, now, if you'd have followed the first video um, <laughs> with with the redneck using the uh, spatula and a hammer smashing all the clips um, you'd have got nowhere with it um, simply because this side trimming is actually held on by about nine different screws so after you've broken your um, broken your casing um, you still wouldn't be able to have got it off anyway. So, again, once you've taken all the screws out, the most difficult part I had with this to separate it was this section here. The, there's two clips here that were just a bit tough to get off. And the way that I found that they came off was if I push down just a little bit, not too much, Pull the back end up, the, the, the bottom end up, and just pulled towards me. Okay, so this, so push down a little, and then, like I said, pull towards me. And I did that per clip, obviously. I didn't try and do the two clips together. Um, and once you've done that that should be right if i can just move that oh move that out of the way and and then you're left with this here's where the hard drive is so as it happens i've had to replace a hard drive in this because the, the hard drive died um, this is obviously sat in a form of uh, metal mount. Um, it's got four screws in it, two on each side. Um, I found this easier to get into 
just by moving the fan. Taking this off first exposes the motherboard. You've got your memory there. You've got your uh, CPU and GPU L little cooling fan there. You've got a big, big heat sink coming off it. And then you've got your other cooling fan there to blow all the hot air out. Um, yeah, so what I found, if I took the melt cover off, I was able to get to this screw here, um, which allowed me to, to remove the fan, and I was able to get to the additional screw in order to get the hard drive out. It is a SATA connection, um, but it does use, I don't know if you can see that, it does use its own oddball connection. So it's SATA at one end, and then it's got a SATA data cable at the other, which plugs normally into the, the hard drive, into the motherboard. And then you've got the power, which is obviously non-standard, and that goes into a header onto the motherboard. So Asus, uh, Acer has used its own um, connection type here. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, 